My dad has been mixing spices for like 30, 40 odd years. I joined my father in 2014 and what made me stay is um, spices. Lah. The spice powders, the tradition of it all, I really loved it. So I really wanted to hold it tightly and this is what I'm doing until now. My name is Jaya and I mix spices for a living. My dad opened this shop in 2014, but I only took over the business officially in like 2017. Before I took over officially, he had to teach me everything. The mixing itself took me about two years to learn. I had to write down everything. I still have the book. Specific recipes for different mixers, wet and dry, um, how much to mix for maybe two kilos of meat, everything. So there's a lot of um, intricacies involved, I would think. When I first started off, I had to use a, like a teaspoon for everything. I need to do it very slowly. So every mix will take about three to four minutes. Right now, I'm doing it like under 30 seconds. Spice mixing is a, considered a very ancient art. Uh, it originated from southern India. So traditional mixers meaning like Indian dishes and Malay dishes. The base is always coriander. So one thing that will not separate fish and chicken curry will be coriander. So what uh, changes as you pour in the spice is the amount of uh, cumin powder, fennel powder, turmeric powder, chilli powder, the amount of onion, the amount of lemongrass, the amount of ginger garlic, it all differs from chicken curry to fish curry. Um, the mixing itself has evolved over the years. So back then, they used to literally pound with a mortar and a pestle. Uh, we no longer do the traditional method, but we still go through the trouble of drying the seeds, making sure the seeds are of very, very good quality before they are grounded. Uh, bring it to the mill. So once they're ground, you make sure that they are all in perfect condition because there's bound to be some impure substances as well. So you just need to make sure that the quality is really good before you bring it to the market. During a pandemic like this, it's close to impossible to run at full potential when you're running a brick and mortar store like this. So that's when we really laid the seeds for our online presence and it really garnered a lot of positive reviews amongst the customers. And uh, right now we are getting a lot of delivery requests. Uh, so we are really working hard day and night just to get the inventory up so that we can start delivery ASAP. My dad called me one day and he said, son, I'm really proud of you. So when my dad said something like that, it really made me tear because, you know, it's, it's something that you hear that I've never heard. They realise that um, a young person like me, as driven as them, will always pump in like new ideas, fresh ideas um, into a traditional business like this. And maybe like you can just combine old and new and most of the time the products that you get is, um, is pretty good and I feel that like my product is at the forefront of that.